worst hurricane of the 2015 season could develop in the next 24 to 48 hours. For my radar, I'm meteorologist Leslie Hudson. Tropical Storm Danny is churning across the Atlantic with a path that's generally headed towards the Windward or Leeward Islands. And Danny could be in the Caribbean as early as next week. If Danny ramps up quickly to a hurricane, then a jog towards the northwest, towards Bermuda, could be a possibility. Danny has a comma head appearance on satellite imagery today. Convection hasn't completely encircled the center of Danny's circulation. Until that happens, Danny won't become a hurricane. Danny is likely running into some dry air. Dry air prevents thunderstorms from getting stronger because there are more downdrafts, which tends to kill nearby thunderstorms from forming. Or dry air can push thunderstorms away from the center of Danny. This dry air is also stable, which means it makes it harder for new thunderstorms to form. Wind shear, which is the change in wind speed with height either in speed and or direction, can blow thunderstorms away from the center of a tropical cyclone. If the wind shear is strong enough, this can rip apart tropical systems. However, Danny sits far enough to the south that wind shear shouldn't stop it from strengthening. So far, it's been a slow hurricane season thanks to a record strong El Nino. Strong El Nino years tend to rip apart tropical systems with incredibly hostile wind shear and cooler than normal ocean temperatures. The National Hurricane Center is forecasting eight tropical storms, four hurricanes, and one major hurricane for the 2015 season. Of all of those, two to three could impact the United States. We've already had two, Tropical Storm Anna, which made landfall in South Carolina in May, and Tropical Storm Bill that hit Texas with torrential flooding rains in June. It will be early next week before we know for sure if Danny will have its sights set for the U.S. For my radar, I'm meteorologist Leslie Hudson.